going on guys all right another video here for you for the ps vita i'm going to be going over in this video a how to install vpk files using the molecular um, shell that we can download from uh, henkaku.xyz i will have a link in the description below um, for anybody that doesn't have this uh, this is for uh, 3.60 official firmware on your vita uh, anything over that is not going to work uh, if you have something underneath the actual firmware that's needed, you can still install it. Um, so, for an example, if you have 3.53 uh, Vita official firmware, you can still install the molecular shell, uh, the R7 build, on your PS Vita. Anything, again, over 3.60 official firmware, this will not work. Again, link will be below in the description for the video on how to install molecular shell. Uh, so after you've done that, if you haven't already, uh, moving on to this video, the file I'm going to have you download here is the Vita shell. Now this Vita shell, it's the same thing as the molecular shell. Uh, all it is, is instead of using an FTP client, you can use a USB. So transferring big files and things like that isn't going to be a problem. Um, <clears throat> with an FTP client, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. It depends on your internet connection. So first and foremost, uh, I'm going to show you how you should have your molecular shell set up on your PS Vita so that way uh, we uh, don't run into any problems and you're not sitting there pulling your hair out. So uh, let's go do that real quick. All right, so here we are at the Vita. Now, what you're going to see here is the molecular shell on your XMB. So just open that up and hit start. Now, what you're going to be looking at, if you haven't done this already, I'm going to show how to go through this real quick or else you won't be able to transfer any files. So, if you're just seeing the UX0 colon folder, uh, you're only running home safe mode. What you want to do is you want to hit start on your PS Vita and you want to scroll down to enable unsafe homebrew till on. Once you do that, hit start again and you're still only going to see your ux0 colon and what you're going to want to do is just exit molecular shell completely just like that and then reboot the application open up the application and start it up and then you're going to see all these folders now how do you set up an ftp client well now that we have utilized the unsafe mode and we have jurisdiction to where we can actually do what we want to do and copy files to where we want to copy them to create folders and such just hit select, and it's going to give you an IP address, as you can see. Once it gives you that IP address, you're going to copy that to your uh, FTP client on your PC. So just hit X to let that run in the background, and let's go back to the PC. All right, guys, so here we are back at the PC. Now, what we're going to be doing is the IP address that, or, well, the file server address that has been given to you from your Vita system, you're going to simply copy that into a new location network. As you can see, I already have mine set up for my Vita. What you're going to do is you're going to go to this PC or computer, depending on what Windows operating system you have, and right click over the blank space. Um, I will make a video on how to do this on Mac as well, so nobody's lost and confused. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new network location. Welcome to the wizard. Hit next. Choose a custom network location. You're going to hit next. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in your FTP uh, colon slash slash. And uh, then you're just going to type your um, given IP address that has been given. For an example, I'll just leave an IP down here. Uh, one, two, three. Um, dot one, two, three. Dot one, dot one, two. Dot, and then... Uh, We'll do the colon, and then you'll have your three numeric intervals there. So that's how your numeric intervals will be typed. And again, remember in front of it, type FTP colon slash slash, just like that, right before the numbers. So you'll write that, the FTP colon forward slash forward slash, and then write your numerics out. And make sure that they're numerics exactly as they line up and no spaces. So once you do that, you will have your network location. So if your file server is still running on your Vita, what you're going to simply do is just open up that folder on your network connection, and you will see all the folders that are displayed on your molecular shell in your Vita. 
access your memory stick which is the UX0 so open that up and you'll see all of these folders now again if you're only running safe mode you still be able to see all of this stuff but you won't be able to do anything uh, well you won't be able to see all of this stuff and you still won't be able to do anything but the only things that you will see is data MMS which is this folder here this folder here and uh, you'll see the uh, theme folder and uh, view to shell folder and that's all you're gonna see so if you only see that you have to go in and make sure that homebrew unsafe enabled environment is turned on like I showed in the beginning of this video so now to keep things plain and simple any VPK files that I've installed I've always just popped in the Vita shell folder here as you can see here's my Vita shell uh, package and my uh, Game Boy Advance uh, package that I installed as well uh, so what you're going to do is you're just going to drag and drop your files over to your FTP client and uh, it's going to calculate and then it'll copy it over. I've already copied this over so I'm not going to do it uh, just to save some time and uh, that's that. So once you have that in there now we can go back to the PS Vita and I will show you how to install these package files using the molecular shell. It's very very easy. All right, so here we are back at the Vita. Now, first and foremost, the first thing you want to do uh, is scroll down and select your UX0. So here we go. We select the UX0 and open that up. Now you're going to locate your Vita shell folder, which is going to be all the way at the bottom because it goes alphabetically, right? Open that up. And the orange highlighted context are going to be your packages. All you have to do is hit X on the package and it'll ask you if you want to install. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do that. So, now before, if you hit your home button, notice that little X out circle or well, crossed out circle, that means you can't exit. The reason for that is because your FTP client is still active. So all you gotta do is hit select, and then you just hit circle, and you disable it, and now you can exit your shell. So exit that and close that completely. And then you should see your Vita shell installed on your XMB. Now opening up the Vita shell here, I'll just start that up. And it'll look exactly the same. All this is, is you can use a USB instead. So if you hit select, it'll say connect this system to PC using USB. That's the only difference. So we've gone from using a wireless connection to a wired connection, uh, which is actually easier for transferring bigger files over and such like that. So that's how you install the Vita shell and utilize your FTP client without any confusion. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Again, the link to installing Molecular Shell on 3.60 official firmware on the Vita will be below, uh, which is my other video, as well as the link for the download for the Vita shell VPK, uh, which is the latest version that I have right now. Uh, and I in trail description as well will be down below so yeah i'll talk to you guys later i hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for more videos i will be doing a lot more videos on some of the emulators and also installing the custom firmware uh, for emulating the psp 6.61 pro c custom firmware so that's going to be cool and uh yeah so talk to you guys later